Guy Bendov. Guy, what's the name of the group that you're uh, managing? Um, I'm the chairman of Game IS, which is the Israeli Game Association. We work with uh, content developer, with technology makers, with service providers that started out in Israel to expose them to uh, outside markets, mainly the U.S. market, and really introduce them to new opportunities. So people are familiar largely with uh, is Israeli high tech in Motorola and Microsoft. But where does the game, where do game developers in Israel fit in the global game development picture? Game uh, developers in Israel um, were more known around uh, um, games like social gaming, um, Playtika, probably the biggest one, but not the only one. If you look, uh, there, there are a number of games that are, uh, you know, top grossing games on, on both stores. You would, next to them, you would see um, games for kids, education, very strong coming out of Israel. And, and around that market, you would see a lot of service providers, um, ad networks that are originated out of Israel. How about uh, companies like, uh, is it Game Tech, the company that makes casino games? Playtech. 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 Yeah. And Playtech, they're, you know, their center, uh, they have an R&D center in Israel. Um, their headquarters is outside. Uh, but a lot of their um, activities, a lot of their sort of strategic moves uh, are coming out of, uh, out of Israel. They uh, bought about a year ago um, um, in another Israeli company that's actually not doing um, social gaming or gaming in general, um, really to, to have a broader portfolio, just as an example. How do, the, uh, how do games applications work to uh, improve Hasbara? internationally w when people get to play a, a social game developed in Israel? Uh, I think there, you know, there's a big activity, especially around the small indie um, um, developers um, around, um, um, you know, Hasbara, around uh, presenting Israel. Uh, you would see that it's game for change, uh, game for peace, um, and a lot of that education part, you know, is coming out of that. I wouldn't necessarily say that that's the focus of of what uh, we do in terms of content and content creation, but it's definitely part of that. You know, it's it's games are a way to tell a story, right? And um, and and I think that that definitely comes in mind when when game developers are thinking about peace and about overall situation there. Do you feel that game developers have a, a Hasbara responsibility to use this, 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 some of their work to uh, develop a better understanding of the country? Um, I think it's it's a matter of, of cause and each group, you know, looking at, at, at their games, whether it's from from um, on the business side or whether it's from a storytelling side, you know, I think that that's it in mind of everyone that's developing content. Um, some, some groups are definitely more engaged with that, uh, but I think overall everyone, uh, you know, feels very strongly that Israel is a great place to bring out content, share, you know, values, and, and you know, show the world that Israel is great with technologies, but also in content creation.